Check out this plump, squishy sea creature. It's called a sea cucumber. And while it may just look like a harmless slug, it has a unique, albeit gross, defense mechanism. Do you know what's coming out of this sea cucumber? Is it A, its bones, B, its guts, or C, its hidden tentacles? Stick around to find out the answer later. Sea cucumbers are more closely related to a starfish than a cucumber, and they're just as low on the food chain. But the sea cucumber has a secret weapon. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun, dun. To protect itself from predators, it shoots out a toxic deterrent out of its butt. Does this harm sea cucumbers? What are their predators? And why are these strange sea dwellers endangered? Just so we're clear, sea cucumbers aren't vegetable cucumbers. They're invertebrates called echinoderms. That's the same animal group containing starfish and sea urchins. They're found in almost all marine environments throughout the world, inhabiting both shallow and deep seas. Adult sea cucumbers spend their lives in the benthic zone, the sea floor. But their larvae are planktonic, which means they drift with the currents. Go with the flow, babies. And these creatures come in all different shapes and sizes. Can you guess how many species of sea cucumbers there are? About 1,250. Depending on the species, they vary in size from less than 2.5 centimeters to over 1.8 meters. They're scavengers, so they suck up whatever specks of food come their way, be it plankton, algae, or waste particles. As they lazily cruise the ocean floor, it's easy to see why they are such easy prey for predators like crabs and sea turtles. But they have more fight in them than you might expect. When faced with a predator, they expose their skeletal, hook-like structures, which make them difficult and unpleasant to eat. Ouch. Okay, let's find out what in the world that sea cucumber was shooting out earlier. Was it A, its bones, B, its guts, or C, its hidden tentacles? The answer is B, its guts. Did you guess that right? Its last ditch effort is to squirt its toxic internal organs out its anus toward the predator to confuse and deter it. When it works, the sea cucumber lives to see another day and its internal organs eventually regenerate with no harm done. But that's not the only thing they use their anuses for. Sea cucumbers use their anuses for breathing and defecating. According to Smithsonian Magazine, sea cucumbers expel over 64,000 metric tons of excrement in one coral reef each year. That's the weight of five Eiffel Towers. A wee wee, or in this case, a poo poo. Much like earthworms, they aerate the ocean floor by sucking up sediment, eating some of it, and then spitting the rest out. This releases beneficial elements like nitrogen, ammonia, and calcium carbonate. That sounds like an excessive amount of feces, but sea cucumbers play a significant role in the health of coral reef ecosystems as calcium carbonate is an essential component for coral formation. Unfortunately, these underappreciated little bottom dwellers are threatened due to overfishing, and they're in high demand as a food delicacy. In some countries, sea cucumbers are valued at $80 per kilogram. Hopefully, these sea cucumbers will stick around to keep our oceans happy and healthy. Shooting their organs out of their butts and pooping a lot is what sea cucumbers do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.